Okay, dudes, oh, what is up? And as you guys can see, here is another custom Beyblade I have done, dudes. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys asking when is the next custom coming. I've been working on a, a few things and I've actually got quite a few custom bays ready. But um, we've just been having a lot of fun with all this new stuff that we've been finding and uh, battling and stuff. If you guys have been keeping up with the channel, we've got a whole bunch of new stuffs here. So, um, you know, I've been trying to find space to put up the customs and as you guys can see, the first one I've decided to go with here is my custom clear pink Drigger with launcher and grip set that I done. Um, I absolutely love this, guys. Now, if you're wondering how I done this, um, I actually dyed everything. It's very, very, this actually custom was actually a lot more easier than uh, a lot of the other ones I've done, but it just looks absolutely fabulous. Let me just zoom out a little bit for you guys so you guys can see now. So, I will uh, put Drigger here for a moment. So, as you guys can see, we've actually got the string launcher and the grip. I actually done these um, to go with Drigger, so it's exactly the same color and everything, which um, is very, very cool. Now, to do the um, string launcher, I did have to take it apart, but it was very simple, very easy to put back together. Well, actually, no, not really. I actually had to watch a video on YouTube how to, to wind up the string again to get it back to going back in and stuff. But once I watched the video, very easy. Um, had to take the grip apart as well, but that one was super easy and just dyed it pink. And that is it right there. Looks awesome. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, all right. Let me put that to the side. I know you guys are here for this, right? This is what you're here for. This is... This is the baby you're here for. Look at that. So I'm gonna do like a whole reveal of it. So you can see we've got the driver pink as well and everything. Now, if you do wanna do this bay, first thing you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to buy a clear Drigger layer, which uh, is pretty expensive for a layer. But um, for this to work, it has to be the clear layer one. And then also, I got the clear platinum um, drivers as well. I did have to use one of them for this. I didn't want to, but no, I did want to, but I, I only got one of these. So I want to get some more clear drivers because um, now I haven't got this one in clear. So I need to get some more of those, but um, it, was, it was totally worth it. So let me just take it apart and we'll explain what we've done. So first thing I'm going to go with, I'm going to show you is the, um, the disc. Because I know a lot of you are thinking to yourself, how did you do that? Or first of all, you're probably thinking, why did you use quarter disc? I only use the quarter disc because um, I've tried to figure out, oh my God, to how um, Takara Tomi um, do their disc. So you see when you see like, um, I haven't even got any near me right now, but you see like with um, L2, it comes with the blue nine and everything. I've been racking my brain how they done it. And I found out, so it's, it's not spray paint, it's not um, inks, it's nothing like that. It's actually powder coating. Now powder coating can be very expensive. Uh, my whole setup did quite um, cost quite a bit of money, but it produces a wonderful results when done right. It took me about, um, I think I messed up around about five of my discs to finally figure out how to do it properly. Um, that's why I went with quarter because where I messed up my other ones, I actually messed up like um, two spreads, a gravity, a knuckle, and then something else, I think maybe a four or something. Um, I didn't really want to mess up the other ones I'm sort of using. So I thought, let me just use a quarter because not a really lot of people use quarter. Even though I've got a really good um, combo for Killer Death Cypher, quarter and flugel, put that on and just see the results if you've got that combo right there for Killer Death Cypher, very, very cool. Um, but yeah, so I use Quarter uh, for that reason. I'll probably redo some another pink one to go with this. Now I know how to do it properly. But as you can see, watch this. You cannot scratch this off. This is, this is exactly like the uh, TT discs. This is like, guys, it is solid. This is powder coating. Just look up powder coating and you will know this is exactly it does not come it doesn't chip 
for nothing. Like that is like absolutely perfection. When I actually used to do a uh, spray paint on them um, or airbrush them, you could actually scratch it off, and it was it was, it was really ridiculous. But now I've learned how to do this. Um, I've got some awesome other ones as well. I've actually done some gold ones. I've done some black and gold ones. Uh, I've got green. I've got orange. I've got some really cool discs I want to show you guys that I want to put on some of my customs. So I can't wait to show you that. But um, yeah, that's that's that. Um, and then we have the uh, the driver, which is pink right here. So I had to dye the driver, as you can see right there. And uh, very easy, as long as you know how to dive it properly. Very, very simple process to actually do, to tell you the honest truth. And then the disc, I mean the layer, sorry. As you dare, as you can see right there, this is the clear trigger that we've just done pink. So now it's clear pink, which looks amazing. Oh my God. All right, so I know you guys want to see a test spin with this. I will do a test spin. And uh, I might even battle it, but I'm not, not too sure. I might do, I might not do, we'll, we'll see. All right, so let me get a stadium out. Uh, we'll put this back together. Uh, let me just show you one more time what it looks like together. So there you go. Absolutely wonderful. Got the foil stickers as well, make it look even better. And uh, we're gonna do some test spins, maybe a test battle, who knows. But let me get my stadium out and we'll do this guys. Hey guys, so as you can see, I chose to use the custom stadium we've done. I love this stadium. I still haven't done any battles in this, but I really do want to. So I decided to use the custom stadium for the custom Beyblade. And if you guys want to see more battles in this, let me know in the comments below. I've got something uh, planned soon for this stadium. But if you want to see more action in here, let me know as well in the comments below. So uh, let's start test spinning and see what this actually looks like while it's spinning, guys. So what I may do, uh, we'll do a couple of, well, I'll do one spin so you guys can see it like this. Here we go, you ready? And we're going to be using the whole pink setup as well. Okay, so how epic does that look, guys? Before I actually launch it, I just want to see actually how epic that looks. Look at this. This just reminds me of like Ming Ming or something like that from the Plastic Generations anime. It looks so awesome. Oh my God. All right, so are you guys ready to see this? Let's do it. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, let it rip. And there you go. Oh my God, Launcher Beyblade Pink. That looks insane. I'm gonna do a couple of test launches. I was gonna do a battle with Drigger, but I'm not gonna battle with Drigger. If you guys wanna see a battle with this pink clear Drigger, let me know in the comments below. And uh, we may actually do it, we may do it guys, but not in this episode. I wanna keep the suspense there so we can see maybe this in action if enough of you guys wanna do it. Let me just zoom in here. Look how epic that looks. Oh my God, that looks so awesome. Please land. Oh, if it was just like this, that would have been just so much more epic. All right, we'll do one more spin. And then what I'm gonna do is I will probably take the camera off so we can see it like close up and everything. All right, here we go. Actually, I'll do that now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spin it and then I'll take the camera off quickly and then I will start zooming in and stuff. All right, here we go, three, two, one. We've got the camera now. All right. Look at this. We'll get it all in the angles there. Ooh, that looks so epic. Oh my God. This view like this. Oh, wow. We'll get right down. Let me see if I can get it like this. Oh, look how awesome that looks, dudes. Oh, and it landed just like that as well. That was so awesome. Oh my God. How epic was that? La, 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 la. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that custom bay video there. If you do want to see this custom trigger with the custom launcher and grip, let me know what you want to see it go against in the battle and maybe what arena as well. Um, maybe if you have any suggestions that you want to see me custom bays, let me know as well. I love seeing, hearing your guys' ideas. It gives me more ideas. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that.